Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Chris and this is a video about uh, UD11, Unlimited Danger 11, 987 degrees centigrade. And we're going to do some editing today of the text here. We're going to in a previous video, we made some editing of the panel frame and of the balloon up here. But now we also have to edit a new text to get up to speed with uh, the new um, variant of design. So let's get on with it but first I just want to show you guys if we have somewhere a picture of let's see if we can hide this here's a picture of the product I'm working on Unlimited Danger Season 1, 987 degrees centigrade, and it's a science fiction action thriller, and uh, this is Barry Riley, the obnoxious space captain who arrogantly well, wants his own doing his own things and uh, so there's a lot of action there's a lot of conflict there's a lot of danger there's a lot of there's even some romance and there's intrigues and there's uh, all these classical uh, strange and unexpected moves throughout this story. So this is going to be it's going to be a 40 pager and it's going to be full color and printed on in a nice way. So let's get back to the editing and let's see like that. So we are here in the as you can see the finished panel is here so but before we go there that will be for another video but now we're going to continue with our adjusting things previously we did the adjusting frames where we did the frame and the balloon but now we want to have a a document where we assemble the text lines, the new text lines. So I drag in a template document here and rename it to panel A2 and assemble text lines and I double click it and we get up or grid so this is the actual my actual lettering grid 7.0 millimeters each line is when I'm doing it on on my light table so now what we're going to do is we're going to scan in a page of the actual handwriting and I'll do this now import something Canon scan clicking scan okay so we have a scan and now I'm using control shift 
period to flip it or to to uh, rotate 90 degrees clockwise and I'm going to save it immediately here into scan sheets but now we, I think we have an old one here yes right so I'm going to name it old like that and but now I have to just do a quick to let windows um, otherwise I couldn't save this as C let if if I had stayed in the folder same folder so I just f temporarily jumped up one step and then down again to reset the names so now I can give the new the new document the same name as the old document had okay that's that and now i'll just do a, a shift f2 here to get my automatic brightness and contrast and i shut this down and so here it is so let's make it a little bigger 66 percent and our mission now is to choose the right words, which are the nicest, the nicest ones, which we are most happy with. So let's see. Some things you don't actually know until you have pasted it. So for instance, this here, the E here and the W, we don't know actually how high they are. We won't know that until we have pasted them. So let's see. Let's bring that up. And otherwise, I think this one looks pretty nice in terms of it's pretty straight up. And there's even a slight lean backwards, which I sometimes like. Or, yeah. So let's take number 10. Right, let's see. And then V for move tool. And then I bring it up. So it's a little, little too little, but it's all right. Let's, let's do like that. We. And where do we have a good good average? The most, the best one. Um, maybe number ten is all right. But the, the O is leaning forward a little too much, so maybe not. Uh, don't here, maybe. This one. And the O is not so big either, so I like that. Or maybe even... But uh, I think this one is better. Because the N is too big here. So these are more equal. This feels, feels more harmonious. So I think we, we will take number six here. Six down to six. Okay, down to V tool. Down to six. What was we? I don't remember where we cut we. <laughs> uh, was it? Was it number ten? Wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. Okay. We just have to do this immediately when I paste it. That's my 
we don't we don't have a minute right so it has to be some stress here and we need some nice well this is not so easy but I think I think basically number two is best Maybe, or even... In terms of... Or maybe even... The V is a little big in most cases. I think we will... Let's do number two, so and we can always fix it later but maybe it's too little in terms of or is too not tall enough but we can fix the the um, ascender here so okay let's let's go with that and we were doing number two there, have, not have. Number two, a minute. Um, and This one, or maybe number two again, but the T is, is a little too long. This line up here, the horizontal line, maybe. Maybe this one, number three. And then we could take this number three here also. Okay, let's do that. Take the whole stuff here. The whole. The whole group. And V tool for move tool. A minute is number three. A minute is line three. Like that. And the question is just how are we going to put that in terms of we're we going to have one line or two lines. So let's look at our row design row design is here so we're putting oh okay so we are putting everything on one line 
so okay so that's fine okay back to photoshop um so we just we're going to line it up all up here okay and what are we going to do with that H so I think we are going to just cut another H or copy another H and maybe even another A I, I don't like that A really so maybe we want to do um, take this age here it should be a little higher let's see how high it is as yeah, better okay okay let's do that and we put it above here for now just that and this was number nine age number nine and another a better a okay so what do we what could we have have from two yeah but but this a is better for instance and this one is pretty good number 10 okay so number let's take number 10 Take the A, number 10, marquee tool, control, copy, and paste. B for move tool, and we use that one instead. Okay, so we can bring that up so and a 10 h something like that okay and we are bringing those down to parts of words here and I'm now pressing control alt e to combine them all together um taking those away so we only have one here and I move this up and I'm renaming this a combination here so we have nine ten and two nine ten and two combined together and I I have it down here also so I can I know how I did it so Okay.
And now the only thing left is, let's just separate the words here. A goes to um, control X to cut it out and I'm pasting it again. So it's an A10 here. And I'm pressing V key and I'm doing a shift up arrow, shift right arrow. So I have everything loose. So we can now do the word spacing. So we bring this a little closer. We bring I'm doing a shift here, of course, shift. So select, shift down, select again. Or I could do the control down and click also. So, but now I'm taking the right arrow. And I'm trying to but I also have to adjust in height. So, so we're hitting the baseline. So this is what we want to do. So we have to adjust in height. Approximately like that. And here I think actually we could, well, no, let's just keep it like that. And the baseline looks good and maybe one more up there, a, something like that. And a minute. And the E there is a little, far down but so let's adjust that minute copy paste V for move tool and then I just move it up a little there like that something like that and it's so if I so the, the copy is placed above the original and it's hiding. So if I remove it, now I have the copy above. So it's very simple to, to fix it. Okay, so, okay, so now I copy the title. I select both by holding shift. I do a control E, not to a copy, but I merge them both together into one, and then I paste the title again. So, so I have fixed this little thing. All right, so let's see. And we can also here adjust the size of, and here we can just, I use the marquee tool and then delete. So when we are now deselecting, we should have, and I, the V, t, the move tool, we have limited the area. Okay, so I think that start starting to look good. So we can take it down a notch, and we to get a better overview. And it looks maybe one I can have. Maybe we can select these together here, and maybe one more, something like that. Marquee tool to get a clean 
view and then we take away the lettering and I think that this will pass okay let's yep okay let's take it save and now we just have to combine everything so control alt e and so we have lines one to one here and then we also have to zoom in a little bit we take away the background so we can see exactly when we will vacuum uh, we don't have to vacuum that which is already white so do we see anything here that we um no okay and then we just vacuumed okay good so a more key tool m and then i just copy and then we go back to our finished panel and we um, put a folder above the balloon called text and we paste into it and we call it lines one to one from assembled text lines and not down scaled that and we make a copy immediately called downscaled moved which we later are going to um, resize uh, and move so that it will fit but so now now we have so we have the text into fi uh, finished panel we already have the frame we have to downscale that too and we have the balloon which we have to downscale as well I'm here hol holding alt key down while I'm clicking on the visibility icon right so that's it for today's session and we are going to continue editing in another document um, in the fin finished panel in another video to try to come closer to the finished product of 987 degrees centigrade a science fiction action a thriller adventure and printed comic book and I'm hoping that this video has been very um, entertaining for you and if you have questions or remarks or suggestions uh, please put them in the comments section Thank you very much and have a good day.